Hey, Good Fox here with today's Pig Iron to Steel Splendor. The sponsor today is Mutt OG Team Drama, best drama in the Madden community. I don't know if you guys saw that in the Mutt subreddit today. But here's the rosters for Pig Iron to Steel Splendor. And about that drama, me and Sly, I'm sure we'll talk about it on our podcast that comes out on Mondays. Usually, at his, uh, last week it was on his channel, this week it might be on mine or his. Look out for both of ours. But uh, Heath Miller, there's Rob Blanchflower, the guy I picked up last uh, game, last week. Shazier and Timmons. I'm thinking about moving Timmons to outside linebacker there for Moats. Really kind of on the fence about it. I don't know what you guys think. But anyways, we got Blake Fogg. Actually, don't answer that think question until the end of the video. But there is the defense here, the specialist Boswell. Got myself a solid kicker. Luckily, hashtag team never punt because we die with our the, the sun in our face. So we don't have to use our punter too much. All right, let's get out of these menus and get to the record here. Uh... As we shift over menus, head-to-head -head seasons, 7-0 and this season, and overall history. Last game, it was a close one, that guy. If you remember last week was aggressive catching me pretty easily. 18-0, and so this is episode 19. Let's see if we can continue this streak and hopefully not lose that for a while, at least until we get out of rookie. All right, return. Bell here. Hayward Bay on the return. Let's try and juke, juke, juke. No juke. All right, you can tell you're playing kind of a... A worse opponent if they don't juke on the kickoff, because juking is effective on kickoffs for some weird reason. D'Angelo Williams off the edge. His speed is good enough to get to the edge. Was it 91 or something? I, I don't recall off the top of my head. All right, but we drop back Vic. Love to pass. I mean, running's fun and all. Heinz Ward there, our superstar. Oh, fumbles. What the heck is that? Luckily, Hero Heath there is to pick up the fumble. So we don't need a review because we got the ball back. Uh, screen pass here. It looks good right off the bat, but his user does shake off the block between three guys. And make the tackle. That is one thing I think open field blocking needs to be solved in Madden 17 along with regular D-line, O-line interactions like the pocket not forming on passes as Heinz Ward gets the touchdown there. Six points. Put it up. The X. I don't know what the X stands for in Heinz. Um, X lacks after eating a lot of uh, hot dogs with ketchup on it. All right, he throws it deep right off the bat. and Oh, my God. Mister. Was it Greg Holloman making the play? Picking it off for the team. He's made it quite a few plays. You know, people say budget ballers and players that play well in the field. Of course, you know, when you have bronze players, somebody's going to make a play. But, geez, that Holloman has, has made his fair share there at safeties. And and that's the reason my main team has 99 safeties. Because safeties really are the cornerstone of the defense I run. As I... Heath Miller, do you see that uh, spin move? Like, I, I feel like he was reluctant to turn backwards for some reason. Like, he didn't know how to do the spin. Oh! Nice evasion again. Heinz Ward, MVP receiver. I mean, that, that just goes to show how OP receivers are this year. Like, if you're going to spend, spend it on receivers and defensive backs on your main squad because they make a huge difference in this game. Whereas my bronze O line, not really much of a difference. Oh, nice pick, Mundy. That is Fundy, and that ends the game there. Up 14 0. That's pretty quick. So, we're going to take our two. When in fact I should be taking three, I didn't realize it until after this game. That was actually enough for a buy in the playoffs, and a buy gets one extra pick. So you'll you'll be seeing two picks here, but we'll make up the third one after the second game that you're going to be seeing here in a minute. Here I'm adding the new Demarty Dawson that came out today. Um, other boss cards and Steelers actually picked up a couple of guys in real life. Willie Colon I'm adding um, in real life, so you'll you'll see him. I, I think I highlight him here at the bottom. Uh, but as we scroll down, there's, you know, Roethlisberger, Bryant, Bryant, Dupree's, Beecham's, Bryant, Dupree's. There's a lot of those. Uh, there it is. Ricardo Matthews, the Steelers just added, I think signed as a free agent. So let's pick a random name. Here we go. Here we go. Who you got, Tom? Our Bryant. I kind of, I kind of, how do you say? Teleported that one or kind of, kind of foreshadowed it. 91 speed is really solid for 79 overall tall six foot four. Let's compare to Wheaton. Wheaton still, you know, looks a little bit better, but shorter, five inches shorter, which is pretty significant. But other than that, I don't know. Brian stacks up pretty well, you know, speed department. I would take him, I think, over Washington though. Although the route running, a little bit better in Washington. Wallace, uh, still, he's there's a reason he's performed really well for me. 91 speed there at six foot with the 86 route running. There is a reason Walsh was, uh, we couldn't muffle the mic for a while. But Harry, uh, Hayward Bay, there is Bryant. I'll add him. Unfortunately, and another offensive skill position. The only positions I do not need on the field are offensive skill positions. But 
Three Archer hype. It's a little late. I wish I would have got him, I don't know, a season ago because 97 speed is crazy. But the fact that I got 90 D'Angelo Williams, 89 Le'Veon Bell, and then Blunt for the, the middle, yeah, 97 speed, they can't touch it, but uh, he'll, he'll be our fourth running back to come in for tosses. In this next game, we'll, we'll try and toss him a couple, see how he performs. I mean, still a solid card. Plus, he'll rage on May 13th, so maybe I'll, I'll play a game with him on May 13th. Hopefully, I can get that one in, because that's Friday, next Friday the 13th. They should re-enrage. All right, kicking off the second game here to 808. I'm guessing that's an area code or some sort of weird way of spelling Bob. But uh, here, he tosses right off the bat, but luckily, Shazier's got the speed and the block shed to get out there and destroy it. And that is Shazier's specialty, is the block shed. With speed, of course. McCann can't lay the hit stick, but it's okay. I can't lay down without pain. So it's it's fine. He goes to the corner, and we knock it out. Oh, and get the pick, Arthur Motes. I talked about replacing him with Timmons, and he goes through and makes that kind of play for me. No way, man. No way. Juke out in, and uh, nice move. D'Angelo Williams has actually played really well for me. This uh, hairstyle. D'Angelo Archer on the toss like we said we would. Oh, beautiful spin. But yeah, D'Angelo Williams has actually played really well for me. Um, over his stats, but yeah, again, he, he's 90 overall. And I don't know what the overall of my team, uh, the opponents are. They're, he's got like a elite defensive lineman. Oh, nice juke there. Here we go off the edge. Another inside zone. Bell spinning. Did we pick up the first down? Yes, we do. First and goal. Fullback dive to Johnson. Ooh, unfortunately, Johnson's Johnson wasn't long enough and couldn't cross the goal line. So we pitch it out to Dree, our new guy. Ew! Dive. He hit the pylon. He hit the pylon. Obviously not with the ball. So we just fullback dive to Blunt. And he blunt forced objects it into the end zone. So up 7 nothing right away on, on Weird Bob. And he runs a little bit of deep crossing pattern. One on one. And Holloman again. Holler, man. Juke left. Get another juke in there. And I might have gotten a touchdown if I could get that second juke off. Unfortunately, I've never been a good dancer. As D'Angelo keeps breaking him. And my, my, my juke skills aren't great because, you know, I just don't boogie very well. Um, my dance floor. All right. So we run a kind of like a modified inside zone. And uh, they kind of block shed everybody. So that goes all of nowhere. You need better run blocking wide receivers if you're going to do that. Do an 0 1 trap. And again, Blunt can't pick it up. Well, not again, but it's the first time he couldn't pick it up. So let's go to our new addition, Dree Archer. Oh, Dree music. We haven't heard this for a while. With her home drops on her cheek that trickle from her mouth. Dree is only six years old. Man, talk about a throwback on the uh, music. I haven't, uh, we, I, I, sh I haven't themed my music since I, you know, Dree left the team. Dree and Nate Askew were the last, um, user guys, user, uh, music. But I should bring that back for new guys. I wonder, what guy should have what theme songs? Like, WWE has theme songs. As he hits the flats nicely. He went to that play before. I shouldn't leave the flats, and I don't think I do leave the flats the rest of the game. Like I did there. I think I was worried about the deep ball. Corner out, nice play. Mundy there again for the tackle. But yeah, I, I'll try to think of some music again, you know, besides for the ones that I already had with Askew. Unfortunately, Askew can't go on this team, but that it is. He, he played action again. Oh, just missed the user. So now he's down to the two-yard line. Let's see what he can do here off the bat. Shazier, and it's mine. Thank you very much, sir. Come again. That is time for a pause. And time for a quit. A quit. There it is. And that is the playoffs. That was the first game of the playoffs. So I get one for a win, one for a rage. Oh, two for a playoff win, one for a rage quit, and that's it. Bud Dupree. Oh, there's the one that I made up from last time. So 91 Bud Dupree fills up my left outside linebacker. He's the right outside linebacker. I can move him. Uh, pretty pricey, 60K. Not too bad, though. No Boss Vic when I had to buy him for 3.2. 77 Max Starks. That's improves my right tackle. I had a bronze right tackle. Low key. Pretty big improvement there for us. Fernando Vela. Velasco. He was a recent signing of Pittsburgh. Again, uh, upgrading a bronze, even though it's only 72. Clifton Gathers. Right end. Another pickup there to improve a bronze. So low-key good additions. Not great, but solid. No more offensive skill players, that one. Alright, that's it. Call the action. I'll see you tomorrow.